I want to make a quick Hans device video. Uh, I'm making the video because I wanted to buy a part to upgrade my Hans. Um, so that's the first part of this video is the part number. I had difficulty finding which part number I needed. Uh, the second part of the video is to show um, how a Hans device works. Some people may have questions about it. Maybe you see it on NASCAR, but you've never seen it in person. And then the third part of the video is how to install the upgrade. Um, what the upgrade does is called it's a sliding tether, which allows the helmet now to rotate in the head. So when we're in our cars, we can look to our left and to our right a lot better than we could with the old Hans device. My Hans device is from 2006. I bought it off Donnie Leah. Donnie Leah is a NASCAR modified driver. He also had a lot of success in the Camping World Truck Series in NASCAR. Um, so he sold it to me, uh, wow, a few years ago, probably seven or eight years ago. Gave me a real good deal. Um, but it is from 2006, and now I'm trying to retrofit a new uh, tether system on it. Um, so I wanted to discuss the part number for the tether system, but before that, uh, the sliding tether system, but before that, I wanted to show how a Hans device works. So as you can see, Hans device has two tethers on it. Here's one tether. Here's the second tether. Um, you can see the Hans device down here. It's carbon fiber. It goes up behind the helmet. Very important. Uh, these, where the black is, that's where your seatbelts come across, and that's the that's the whole way the Hans device works. So once I get in my car, uh, I slide the Hans device between my helmet and my shoulders before I put the belts on, and I reach up, and these are the post anchors on the helmet. In order to install the anchors, you just drill a hole in the helmet, and then you attach this anchor system. It's spring-loaded. Um, so you come up here, you push it in, and it locks in, and then obviously you do the same thing on the other side. And I'll do that to show you the limitations of your viewing angle once you're all strapped in. So now that you're now that you're connected to the Hans device, you'd put you know your seat belts would come on. So you can see there's no way for your helmet to go left or right or forward. That's the whole purpose of the Hans device. We can stop these cars at 100 miles an hour, no problem. You stop, you stop the body, but the head always kept going, and that's what leads to very, very bad days for race car drivers. And so that's what this tether system does. You can see the tethers back there. When you impact something, the, the belt are strapped to the car, so, so is the Hans device, so your head can no longer go forward. So it's a really simple device, but very effective. But again, the initial problem with the design is it really limits your vision. You cannot turn left or right. I had a big time issue with this in dirt racing where they, of course, they encourage safety, but they do nothing to, um, to, to, to let a drug, to mate, to, they do nothing to encourage the driver to wear the Hans device because in dirt track racing, we have no mirrors and we have no radios. We have no spotters. So, you wear a Hans device on a dirt track car, you cannot look left or right. Our vision is already limited. We have no mirrors. And then you want to throw a Hans device on it as well. So the safety goes up. You know, you, you definitely have to wear one. But in that car, <laughs> you get a lot of blind spots. So uh, with this sliding tether system I'm getting ready to install, uh, it should really alleviate that problem. And I'm really excited for this season to be able to have a lot more vision <laughs> after about seven or eight years of wearing this Hans device inside the car. Um so uh, I'm going to stop the video now, and I'm going to take apart the old Hans tether system and uh, start installing the new one. All right, so here we go. We're back at the uh, old Hans device, and the first thing to do is take off the old tethers. So they have an Allen head screw in them. Again, this Hans device, you can see it's very simple, you know, why it took 30 or 40 years of racing to understand this is beyond me. It does a fantastic job when we have bad wrecks. So there you go, that's how, that's how the tether comes out, nothing, nothing to it. Uh, I'm going to pause the video while I take the second tether out, and then we'll be ready to install the new tether. While I'm taking this second tether out, I want to point out that these tethers are dated just like our seat belts. And this is the old tether, and it's not very good. That says 2006. So I kind of just learned this 
uh, when I bought this new tether system that these tethers actually need to be replaced after a hard impact or after a certain number of years. So that's the old tether, and then the new tether is dated, it's upside down, the new one's dated 2015. So I'm good for definitely a few more years. So let's finish taking this one out. So that's that. So that's the the old tether system has been removed, and the new one. It's quite simple to be honest. Comes with uh, two guides, two basically two belt loops, and then four new bolts, and then of course, then just a single tether. So that's how this is going to allow it to slide. Is we're going to come up here, bolt it, and then you can see that the tether can slide. Uh, left and right, and that will that's what will let the helmet turn left and right. So I'm going to start this. I'm going to start this installation and pause the video. All right, so here we go. You see, I already have one side in. Um, two things about this: uh, obviously, you want to use Loctite on the bolts. Um, the Loctite is already in these two bolts and I believe the torque setting is about eight inch pounds so that's barely over hand tight um, so uh, I've already got the blue thread locker down inside the threaded holes and it's pretty straightforward how to install this upgrade Make sure the um, make sure the tether is not pinched. Make sure it's in the track of that belt loop. Get this lock tight out of the way. So that's how it's done. All right, we're back, and you can see the up, upgrade is installed. Uh, what, again, one of the main points of this video is to get the part numbers right. So I have a very old Hans, and the part number you need is TK1131. Hopefully that comes in in the video. So, so what has this upgrade done? So now you can look, and that tether is free to slide now. All right, very, very easy upgrade, you know channel on each side make sure you use your loctite torque it to about eight inch pounds and uh let's put the helmet back on and see how this thing works all right so like before that helmet would only move forward. And you can see it's the helmet is still stopped. But now everything's done right. That helmet can now now we can turn our head in the car. See the Hans device is staying there. And then boom. Uh, those tethers are uh, 18 inches. So I'm excited. It's definitely fixed some of my vision problems I'll have in the car. And uh, looking forward to uh, 2015. Hope this video uh, was informative.